and just sort of start trot. Let's see what we got. Oh, he's feeling lazy. I'm loving this tongue. Good. Excellent. So we're going to right away think about rhythm. Whether you have a speedy horse, you're going to slow him down. If you have a slow horse, you're going to speed him up. Really good. <clears throat> awesome. So what I want you guys to start with is thinking about this rhythm in the trot. And you're going to start to add some circles as you're trotting around. So if you get to a corner or around a jump, thinking about adding some circles to get him moving off your leg and thinking about being supple and listening. Good. Keep your elbows bending, Liz. Yeah, that's right. Good. Nice, Mallory. Good. Beautiful, Ava. Good, keep those elbows bending. Thinking about as you're asking him to turn, Liz, bend your elbows back towards your belt. That's right, use your whole arm. Lovely, good. Okay, girls, I want you to go ahead and stand up for me for a second. Stand up in your irons. Stretching your legs really long. Yep, keep trotting. Stand up in your irons. All the way, stand up, stay up. It's a balance thing. There you go. Good, bend your knees a little bit, Ava. Good, stand up, Liz. Excellent, and then go down into your two-point position. Good, keeping your shoulders back, keep your knees bending. Good. Excellent, stay in your two-point, let's reverse. Stay in that two-point position, change direction. Good, Ava. Think about rhythm. One, two, one, two, put that leg on. That a girl. Good. Really good. Press that lower leg forward, Liz. Good. Stay in your two point. Excellent. Back to trot. Good. And then when you're ready, add some circles. Good. Back to posting trot. Posting trot. Good. Bend those elbows, Liz. Good. And leg as long as you can, Mallory. Use your entire leg on that little horse. Good. Add some circles. Think about pushing them around your leg to get them warmed up. Good, Ava. Good. Yep. Beautiful. He's adorable, huh? What a good boy. Good. Excellent. Okay, Mallory, when you're ready, let's see your canter right. Good. Good, you're gonna navigate around these other two girls. And I wanna see your gallop position without his canter changing. That's right, get him out of the tack, press your heel down. Good. Really good. Stay up out of the tack, press that heel down. Good, and now sit, keep the canter the same. Sit tall, squeeze your thigh. Nice, shoulders back. Really nice, add a 20 meter circle. Good, half haul. Outside rein, good. Good, half halt. Really good, back to chop. Okay, Ava, when you're ready, canter right. Nice. Okay, keep going. Beautiful. Good, Ava, he's lovely. Good, let's see your gallop position. So you're gonna get up out of the tack. 
Good, out of the tack, try not to let your bum hit the saddle. Good girl, all the way, up, up, up. Higher, higher. That a girl. Good. Keep cantering, keep going. And then back to sitting canter. Good, and add a 20 meter circle anywhere you'd like. Good, eyes up. Good, leg on. Good. Really nice, Ava. He's got a good rhythm. Yep, back to trot, that's fine. Big trot, big trot. Good. Canter. Good, and then back to trot, Ava. Excellent, and then Liz, let's see your canter right. Good. Good. Good, stay in that gallop position, so up out of the tack. Good, he looks a little bouncy in the canter. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, good, keep him going. Good, back to trot. Think about getting him a little bit bent to the inside. Set him up for that right lead and then ask again. There you go, really good. And now go ahead and sit. I know it's gonna be tough, but do your best. Sit down, sit tall. Yeah, that a girl. That's nice. Really sit, keep your bum in the tack. Good, be tall with your shoulders. Lovely, and then back to your gallop position. Good, and then back to posting trot. <laughs> Good, yep. Excellent. Good. Okay, girls, let's reverse. Let's go the other way. Back to trot, Liz. Good. Good. Bend those elbows. Sit tall. Good. Okay, ladies, we're going to go ahead and canter all together. You all look like you have good control. So when you're ready, when you find a good place, let's canter together. Good, nice Mallory. Eyes up. Good, so let's go ahead and sit in the canter. Sitting canter, bend your knees, Liz. I know he's uncomfortable, you're doing a good job. Good, get that stirrup back. Toe in and up. That a girl. Yep, bring him to trot if you need to. Good. Yep, that's fine, regroup. Good girl, try again. Good, Ava. You look like you belong in the Madame McClay. That long leg. Really good. Okay, let's go to gallop position, but keep the canter the same. Gallop position, out of the tack. Good. Keep him a little quieter here, Liz, so half halt. Yeah. Good. Have a plan, know where you're going. Good, and then back to sitting. Good. Good, back to sitting. Excellent. Good, go ahead, let him trot and take a break. Good. He's a speedy little guy, huh? Good, let him walk. <clears throat> Excellent. Good, walk and rest. Beautiful. Okay, so since I haven't seen any of these guys go, we're gonna start off nice and simple. Why don't you come on in the middle? We'll go one at a time. Let's we'll see what we got. Liz, why don't you go first since you're still out there? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your trot. You're gonna come to the inside of this cross rail. You're gonna trot that cross rail. Whether he, if he canters, it's fine. Okay. You're gonna bring him back to trot. If you, have, if you have enough control, then you're gonna spin right around and you're gonna go back to this cross rail. But if you need to add a circle, then you're gonna just add a nice big circle and then come around and do this cross okay. rail. Does so that make sense? Do, them one at a time, like, do both? Yeah, like so it'll be, you'll come to the inside of this cross rail, you're gonna jump this one. Yeah. And then if he's good, then you're just gonna do a nice little half loop around in that corner and you're gonna come right back to this one. Oh. 
Does that make sense? But if he's like cannon ray or being wild, then you're just gonna add a circle. You can go around this cross and then come back to this one. So the goal is to keep him nice and steady and straight. I wanna see control. Nice and easy to start. Good, pressing your heel down. He looks like a little event horse. He's cute. Good, bend your elbows nice and steady. Keep those elbows bending, Liz. Yeah, even more, bend those elbows. That's right, lean back. Good. Nice, good, look around. It's a tight turn. Good, nice and straight. Mallory, you'll go next. Good. Good, nice and easy, let him walk, perfect. So if he goes real quick, then you're gonna halt, right? But if he's just gonna kinda lope away or trot away, then you can just keep going straight. Good, keep your leg on. Good. Really good. Turn right around. Back to trot. Excellent. Leg on. Good. Okay, when you're ready, Ava. Lovely. <laughs> Good. Nice and straight. Keep your leg on. Good. Look right around. Good. Awesome. Okay, Liz, I want you to take your canter and you're gonna canter to the inside of this cross rail. You're gonna canter that cross rail. You're gonna go all the way around and canter them both together. Okay? okay? I just wanna see you canter one first. Okay, when you canter them together, we're going to count some strides because we're going to do a little bit of rideability before we do coursework. So I'm going to count them for you. This will be tough for him. I bet you'll do the slow one really easily, won't you? Oh, do we? Do we sometimes go fast? Good, sit so tall. <laughs> Thinking about rhythm all the way to the cross rail. One, two, three, yep, okay, good, keep going. So the next time when you guys go, you're gonna do the second one first. It's easier to kind of skip one and pull that to the second, right? But no problem, he was a good boy. Good, so we're gonna count strides this time. Nice and easy. Good. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Sit tall. Lean back. Lean back. Good girl. Let him walk for a second. Let's fix that helmet, huh? Uh oh. Come on. I think your, your strap's a little bit loose, huh? <clears throat> Strap's got to touch your chin, girly. That was wild. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Is that pretty typical of him? Yeah. Oh, he's not usually that wild? Yeah. He's usually really slow. Really? That's funny. Sarah, do you want us to lunch yet? Oh, we'll... Do, we'll Okay. Yeah, we'll be alright. Okay. <laughs> I think she says he's not usually this wild, right? No, he's, not. <laughs> he's like I teach walk trot lessons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Are you feeling wild? He's Do you want to take with, your spurs off? Good with trotting jumps. Yeah, let's take his spurs off. Thank you. Yeah, you're good. 
It wouldn't have been so scary if her helmet hadn't flown off. Can you calm down, please? He said okay. Literally, trot, <laughs> trot lessons. Like, he's like, goose, goose, goose. Okay, are you ready to try that again? So you're going to trot in, can her out. We're going to try to do it in four strides. Does that make sense? He's like, oh, are we done? Like All right, let's try that again. So you're going to trot the first one, can to the second one. We're going to try four strides. Yep. You got it. Trot in the first, can to the second. And then we're going to count to four before he jumps. Press those heels down. Good girl. So make sure that if he gets excited, the first thing that has to happen is your shoulders have to come back, right? As horses get their heads lower, it's really easy to kind of go here, and that's when you're going to get into trouble. So even if your reins have to get long in order for you to get back here, that's where you have to be because that's where you're the safest. Does that make sense? Yeah. Don't be pulling that again, little horse, otherwise you're going to go get a lunge. <laughs> Good. So feel already how you want to be tipped forward. Bring those shoulders back. Yes, that a girl. Now keep him nice and slow to the first, and he can canter the second. Lean back. Yeah. Think about tucking your tail underneath you. Good. Good. Now lean way back. Tuck your tail underneath you. That a girl. Do that again. Good. Think about sitting down on your seat bone. Shoulders back, even if you have to lengthen your reins a little bit. Feel how he wants to pull you forward. You've got to be strong with your shoulders. Yeah, your shoulders should be right over your hips. That's right, shoulders over your hips. Good, one, two, three, four. Good, shoulders over your hips. Better, hands up. Good, one more time. Much better with your position. Good. Shoulders back, elbows bending. Think about bringing your elbows behind you. Good. Elbows behind you. Lean back. Good. Good. Let him walk. Pet him. Mallory, why don't you have a go? Good, lots of pets. Excellent. So if in nothing else, today we're going to be working on getting you much stronger in your upper body, right? Because what happens is he starts to pull and your arms get straight, and then you go here, right? So we've got to get you taller and bring your elbows here so that no matter what he does, you're going to be strong on that horse. Good, nice and steady. Good. Excellent. Let's canter both of them. I want you to see if you can do it in four. So it's going to be nice and quiet. Good. Stretch tall, hands low. Beautiful. Good. One, two, three, four. Good. One more time in four. And see if you can soften his head a little bit. So instead of just pulling back, I want you to think about half halting and squeezing your leg to get the job done. Yeah, so think half halt and squeeze your thigh. Half halt, squeeze your thigh. Make him be patient. That's nice. One, two, three, four. Good. Pet him. Really good. Okay, Eva. So you're going to do the one and then canter all the way around and do both. Really good. See what I mean by keeping him a little bit softer in the bridle? Yeah. So I liked that you got the job done the first time, but we want to see when they start tossing their head like that, it's really hard to see a distance, isn't it? Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're sort of out of control and they're like, Ugh. 
So the goal is always, especially when you're warming them up, the goal is always to get them soft and supple with your hand versus sort of fighting. Good. Perfect. Scanner all the way around. Good. We're going to see if you can do it in four. And then we'll just play with the numbers a little bit before we move on. Good. One, two, three, four, five. Good. So he's, we're always going to be pushing him to go quicker, I think. So can around again, and you did it in five, I want you to do it in four. Good. Can around a bit. The art of training horses is to make them do the opposite of what they want. They want to go slow, you make them go fast. They want to go fast, you make them go slow. Good, now go. One, two, three, four. Lovely. Good. Pet him. Awesome. Okay, Liz. I think we're going to be working on your position and keeping him slow and steady. Um, and then I think by the end he'll be back to his old self. Does that make sense? Um, so I want you to do, let's go the other way since we did it once this way. You're going to go the other way and you're going to trot in if he wants to canter out he can. But what I'm mostly concerned about is your elbow staying here. Okay, because what you want to do is have your bum out and your hands forward like this. What I want you to do is sit tall and keep your elbows here and your bum underneath you. Off you go. So trot in, canter out, or trot and trot. <clears throat> Go the opposite way. So we're going to be coming off your left. Good. Bend those elbows. Really good. So feel how your elbows want to be straight. Bring those elbows back. Yeah, more. Elbows back. I know it feels weird. Good. Yes, now elbows back. Yes. Good. That's a different horse. Good. Back to trot. Do that again. Elbows back. Feel how your elbows want to be straight. Come on, bend those elbows. It's going to be against everything you want to do. Even more. Come on. Elbows. Elbows. More. Yes. Slow your posting. Yeah, that's better. Elbows. Really good. Elbows. Come on, more. Good. Good. Now, elbows. Yes. Good. Elbows. Nice. Pet him. Let him walk. Okay. Um, Mallory, I want you to take your canner. So we did it in four, yeah? So what I want you to do is I want you to do five, four, five. Okay? It's going to be really hard, especially the second time going back to five, right? Because once they get strung out, it's really hard to package them back together. So the first time you're going to think about getting them really soft and really quiet to get the five, and then the four is easy, and then fight for that five. Okay? Better, huh? So keeping your shoulders back and keeping your bum underneath your shoulders and your elbows here gives you that really strong dressage position where he's going to be like, oh, you in charge today? Didn't, no one told me. Right? Good. So really quiet. You can't get, you, it's going to be very hard for you to get a six. So feel like you can't go too quiet. Yeah, quieter. Half halt. Good. Make him wait. Good. One, two, three, one, two. Good. I loved it. Now just nice and easy for the four. Good. You don't have to work for the four. Good. Such tall. Good. One, two, three. Good riding. Now back to the five. It's going to be a little tougher this time. Good. 
Good. Quiet. Quiet. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's why it's hard, yeah? So get them a little bit quieter before the first one. So you should be working on your five canner now. Half halt, even slower. This is still a four canner. Slower. Oh. Yes, then soften. Now be patient. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Do it again because I think you can do better. Good. Push him off this left leg. Half halt, quiet. Slower. Squeeze your thighs. Sit your bum in that tack. Come on, bring him back. Half halt, let go. Slower. Hold, let go. Yeah, hold, let go. Now make him wait. Good. Whoa. <laughs> Good girl. Let him walk. It's hard, isn't it? Good. Okay, Ava, when you're ready. So now he likes to be slow. So we're gonna do the tougher for him is gonna be the opposite for this one. So you're gonna do your four back to your five to your four. Okay. So it's gonna be a big canner to a little canner to a big canner. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Pretty good. Yeah, it's hard. To it's, go back to the five. it's much harder when you, when you, after you lengthen. The first time the five was pretty easy, wasn't it? Yeah. But then once you get them to strung out again, they're like, oh, I understand. Now I'm in charge. <laughs> no, no. Good. So gallop on a bit. Good. Now gallop. One, two, three, four and a half. Keep going. You're good. I knew it's going to be hard, that's why we're doing it. Gallop on, go ahead in your gallop position. Yes, that a girl. Now as you come through the turn, keep your leg on. Good. Good, keep going. Gallop. Good girl, now get your five. The five is easy. Just stay steady. Good. Good, the five is easy, just nice and steady. Sit down. Good, rhythm, 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 rhythm. One, two, three, four, five. Good girl, keep going. He's so cute. Okay, now gallop on, do the four. Gallop position. Good, go, go. Fight for it. Come on, come on, gallop position. Get out of the tack. Good, now kick on. One, two, three, four. Good work. Pet him. <laughs> He's adorable. <laughs> All right, let's do a little coursework. Um, let's do this first, actually, because we're going to keep the jumps a little bit low, because we might as well work on getting him rideable and well behaved versus jacking the jumps up, right? <clears throat> that was good, huh? <laughs> um, okay, so here's going to be your course. You're going to do outside cross trails. Then you're going to do the brick. Then you're going to do the outside cross trails to the stone. Does that make sense? So we're doing outside. No, the cross trails. The first time we're going away from the barn. Yeah. So cross trails, brick, all the way around cross trails, stone, and then why don't you do this? If he's really good through that whole thing, you're going to come to the inside of this cross trail, and you're going to do this to that cross trail. Does that make sense? So cross trail. So outside, diagonal. Outside, diagonal, gate, cross trail. Let's see it. I always see this elbows bending, even if your reins are a little bit long. Off you go. Trot in if he wants to canter out, that's okay. okay. Can I bring him back if he's a little long? Please do. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> I want full control.
Good, drop your heels, thinking about your elbows right away. Yep, bend those elbows. Push your heels down, that's right. Come on, more elbows. Yeah, more elbows, more elbows. Good, press your heels down, more elbows. Good, really good. Elbows back, keep them trotting. Elbows, come on, you're getting too far forward. Shoulders back, elbows back. Yes, love it. Lean back, elbows back, shoulders back. All the way around, cross row, cross row. Come on, elbows. That a girl, bend them. Good. Eyes up. Good. Bend those elbows. Good. Sit tall. Lean back. Nice. Back to trot. Good. Shoulders back. Good. Back to trot. Lean back. Sit. Make him trot. Yeah, good thinking. Really bring those elbows behind you. Good. Much better, Liz. Much better. Good. Okay, one second, guys. Is that looking? You happy with that? What, you competed him? Yeah. What level? Um, okay, perfect. Okay. And um, so it was like. Perfect. Okay, same course. All right, In the canner. And I want you to. Um, since he gets quick, I want you to practice doing the five in this line. Okay. Okay, it's gonna be tough because the jumps are big. So really quiet here. Think about jumping in quiet. Good. Good, one, two, three, four. That's fine. Good, change your lead. Add a circle, get your lead, thinking about getting him looking in the direction he's cantering. So wrapping around your inside leg. Back to canter, good. Now think about what that five canter feels like as you're cantering to this brick. Get him a little rounder and be patient. Patient, one, two, three, four. Good girl, all the way around to your outside line. Good, and the four is okay as long as he jumps in that quiet. Good, get him a little rounder, half halt, hold, let go. Good, I like this rhythm, keep it the same. Good, yes, sit tall, half halt. <laughs> you got it, half halt, steady, wait, yes. Good, eyes up. Good. Yeah, nice. Good, canter all the way around. I want you to do that whole outside line. Nice and quiet, just like that. Good. Half halt. Yeah, that's good. That's what I like. 
I like that he settled there. Perfect. That's okay. He said these jumps are little. Pet him. Good. So that hesitation that you got in that turn was perfect because it just kind of got him to back off and kind of see where he was going. Right? Thanks, guys. Okay. Ready? Do you know your course? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To the outside line. Yep. The stone. Yeah, and I think he's pretty quiet, so I think you can do all three. Okay. I'll help you. I'll help you remember. To brick. To stone. Got it? So see if you can get him to do it in the four. Good. Even if you have to get out of the saddle a little bit. Good. Good girl. Keep your leg on. Change your lead. Off you go. Good. Now be patient. Sit tall and stay steady. Beautiful ride. It's okay. He's a little lazy. Good, all the way around to your outside line again. Good. Good. <laughs> Good, now gallop on. Gallop on, gallop on. To your stone. Yes, and now just be patient. Good girl. Change your lead. Gallop. Good. Nice. He is so sweet. Good, pet him. He's sweet, huh? She's like, he's so lazy. Okay. I think if he trots these diagonals list, he'll be okay. Do you? Exhausted, Ava. <laughs> okay. Let's do. We're gonna keep these courses nice and simple at first. So, let's do um, outside line to the stone, full outside line to the brick coming this way. Got it. And I want you to trot everything. So when I come from the outside line, just go all the way around and hit it. So outside line, you're coming to this stone. No, I'm sorry, the brick? I probably did say that. And then outside line, no. <laughs> outside line to stone, this way, that's right. Okay. Right, so outside line towards the barn, stone going up this way, outside line, brick going this way. Yeah. Good, we're all on the same page? Yeah. Nope. Oh, that's that. There you go. Yeah. And then hit it this way? Perfect. Hit it, don't hit it, well, jump over it. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> okay, so shoulders back, elbows bending. Good. Elbows more. Yeah, I want you to feel silly. I want you to feel like your elbows are behind you. Even more. Come on, they're not anywhere near behind you. Yeah, even more. 
bend those elbows. Come on, more bending. a huh. girl. <laughs> Think about tucking your tail underneath you and bend your elbows. Good, push those heels down. And now we're talking, back to trot, elbows. Trot, good. How did we mess that up? You went the wrong way. Yep, turn around. That was good though. So do the cross rows that way. <laughs> I really love my life. <laughs> Doing well, I didn't even catch it, so. Clearly I'm just as directionally challenged as you are. Bel elbows, elbows, elbows. Yeah, good. It makes all the difference in the world because when you bring your elbows back, it brings your shoulders back, it brings your hips underneath you. Yeah, good. Bend those elbows. You got it. Eyes up. Good girl, eyes up. Good, back to trot. Now lean way back. Yeah. Yeah, elbows. Come on, what about those elbows? Lean back, leg on. Good, back to trot. Outside line. Really bring those elbows and shoulders back. Nice, elbows. Yes, elbows. Beautiful riding, back to trot. Good, Liz. Elbows behind you. Push those toes forward. Good girl, elbows. Good, back to trot right away. Hey, that was pretty good. Much better, huh? Awesome. All right. You got it. I'm going to put these up. Have a go at it. So I'm okay with the four as long as it's a quiet four and not a running four. Good. Think about getting them round. Yeah, that's okay. I'm really okay with that. Good. Now think about wrapping them around this inside leg. Straight, quiet. Lovely ride. Now inside leg, make them bend to the inside. Yes, make them bend to the inside. Beautiful. Good. That's okay. Make them bend to the inside. Good. Pet him for a second. Let me walk this. Okay, so it walks in a competition two, right? So that's why you're getting kind of a two and a half. So for this exercise, for this purpose, I think we're gonna do it in three. So because it's a small ring, you're coming off a small turn and he's a little horse that likes to get quick. So I just want you to do that outside line again okay. and I want you to get in three and three. Okay. Okay. The best way to do that is to make your line as square and as straight as you can by bending him to the inside and pushing him off your inside leg to get him to kind of drop his head and be quiet. <laughs> that was great though. You rode him really well. Thank you. Well, we have time to do one more thing. Yeah. Good, so think about getting him quiet here. Half halt, half halt, lean back. 
Yeah, make him wait. I love it. Oh, yes. Beautiful riding. Very good. Pet him. Okay, off you go, Ava. Do you know your course? Yep. Around to the brick thing. To the stone, yep. Um, and then around to the outside line. Yep. Around to the brick. Oh, you got it. <laughs> You'll be fine. You, you gotta whack him. Because if you whack him one time, I don't think you'll have to whack him again. And if you get up out of the tack a little bit, I think he'll be more inclined to go forward. Yeah, there. He like opens his back up a little bit when you get off his back. That's beautiful. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Leg. Keep going. Gallop. He is so sweet. Good. Now get up out of the tack a little bit. Be quiet in your, se in your seat. Yep. See if you can get really square. Off you go. Good, leg on. Keep going. Good, keep going. Good, canter through the turn. Good, beautiful. Really good. Okay, we're gonna do one more thing. We have about 10 minutes. That was better, huh? So I think if you get off his back, he sort of softens his back a little bit, and then it's easier to get him to move off your leg. Okay, Liz, you're going to do the outside line going this way, then the stone coming to me, then you're gonna do the outside line big, and then brick going that way. You got it? So, yep. To brick, you got it. So. For this, this outside line, it's gonna be really important that you bring him back to trot in between and that your elbows stay bending. If your shoulders stay back, you'll be fine. It's when your shoulders come forward and your hand, your elbows get straight that he gets a little wild and silly. Yeah? Off you go. He's usually this quiet though, isn't he? Yeah. Good girl, so practice those elbows now. Yes, elbows, shoulders back, tail underneath you. Good, eyes up. Good, push those heels down, eyes up. Yeah, elbows, beautiful. Back to trot, good, elbows. Behind you. Thinking about pushing your belly button in front of your hands. Yeah, belly button in front of your hands. Yeah, what would that look like? If you had your hands behind your belly button. Stay wide. Yeah, push that belt in front of you. Yeah, good. Good, belt in front of you, I'm okay with that. Good, belt in front of you, elbows. Good, even more. Hands back. Eyes up. Yes. Good, pet him. Really good. Okay. Let's do... Um, we're gonna do something different. You're gonna do outside line outside line, and then you're going to do the brick to the stone, bending line. Okay. 
Oh, let me put this up. And which way did I have you do the... I had you do this way. This down. I don't think this is gonna work. Stone. Yeah. It's still gonna be a three to a three. Okay. I made this. Good, sit tall. It's okay. Good. You're gonna have to work hard for this three. Sit tall, hold, let go. Hold, let go. Good, fine. Beautiful. Good girl. Now sit tall and think about this bending line. It's okay, half halt. Good, look at the stone. Good girl, good, good. I want you to do that bending line one more time and I want you to get that turn a little bit more with your leg and a little less with your hand. Ready Eva? So we're gonna try to eliminate that head toss. Good, good, nice. Much better, let him walk. Okay, off you go, Ava. Am I doing the same thing? Same thing. Okay, so. Outside line going that way. Going this way. Then outside line going this way. Outside line, and then the bending. Bending. Okay. Good, huh? Yeah. He's a little athlete. I like him a lot. Yeah. He gets really excited when you go, like, on a cross country course. Yeah, I bet. He gets, like, really, like. He's so young. God, I hope you event him a bit. He's he's gonna be a nice little event horse, I think. Good, now keep going. Good, keep going. Okay, I want you to give him a good whack behind your leg. Right now, go, come on. Good, now go, go, go. Start again. Good. In between, I want you to squeeze your heels. Good. Now squeeze your spurs. Squeeze. Lean back. Keep going. Gallop around. Gallop around. Come on. Okay, so it's either a four or a five, and I'd really like you to do it in a four. So stay wide and try not to cut your turn to the first one. Stay wide. Stay wide. Good. Good. Good, now go. That a girl, keep going. Come on. Good. Good. <laughs> Gallop on. Look at it. Good. Good, leg on, leg on. 
Good ride. Good, gallop around one more time. I just want you to do the bending line and then he's done. See if you can keep the canter through the turn. He's just so exhausted. That's a nice canter, keep that. Good, take a look. Good. Good girl. Pat him. Nice. Yeah, so he's tricky because if you get there on a half stride, he's not quite sure what to do, right? He wants to take off early, but he's not doesn't have quite the energy to do it, you know? So you do have to kind of get up off his back a little bit and gallop on in order to, to ensure it. But this rode beautifully, right? Because it's a little bit short. So he's like, I can just can around and do that in my normal stride. But your position is beautiful. You have a nice, long, steady leg. So you're absolutely on the right track. That was really good. You guys have fun? Yeah. All done? Any questions? Nothing. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry for that. Oh, it was great. I think yeah, you rode really well. This morning. <laughs> I think you guys, have, you know, I like it when it goes a little bit messy in the beginning because why else are you here? You know what I mean? Like if I can help you kind of work through something, you're better off than just being perfect. What's the point of being here if you're just perfect? Yeah. You know? So it's good. I think that if you can keep thinking about keeping your elbows back, it's going to make all the difference in the world. You know, especially if you're going to be cantering courses with him. Because yeah. he's fine trotting, isn't he? Yeah, he's fine. He just lights up. When you ask him to canter. Yeah. And so, get heavy yeah. And then all of a sudden, you go from here to here, and then he starts to buck, and then it's all over. Yeah. All over Rover, right? Good. Nice job, girl. Thank you. You're welcome. That was fun. You did well. Thank you. You're welcome. We got Allison. And Eva.